Welcome to this Meta AI tutorial. I'll show you how to get access, even if you're not living in the US, some popular text-based use cases of Meta AI, and how to create images in real time as you type the prompt. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So by the end of this video, you're a Meta AI expert. The first thing that you may see is that Meta AI isn't available yet in your country. Now, how I'm using it is going through a VPN service. I'm currently in Bali, and if I open my Surfshark and switch to United States, turn it on and refresh, you can now see that I'm on the inside. But what can you use it for and what makes this different? As you can see, these are the six use cases that it has on the home page. From ideas, create a packing list for a trip, writing, make my emails sound more professional, fun, play 90s music trivia, yeah, my mom is gonna use this. Support, help me with an assignment. Learn, simulate a mock interview. And imagine paint NYC in watercolor. Yeah, we can actually create images and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But first, let's actually go into some of the use cases that you might use and test its writing capabilities. So say you're a content creator and a business owner, let's ask Meta AI if anything is happening recently. Can you tell me the latest news in AI? And it comes up with this list. And I was thinking, is this recent or not? So we can click on view sources where you actually have one, sciencedaily.com, which is where it took the information from. And you can also see the search query that it did, AI latest news, where you end up on Bing, which is the search engine that it's based around. Now, if I want to go deeper, I can ask it what specifically happened yesterday, April 24, 2024. Now it's going to go into search mode and it came up with two answers. I'm going to ask if it can find more. And you can see that it talks about M flares and not AI. So it's important to be very specific in your prompt on exactly what you want to search on Bing to get the most relevant sources and information. But that was how to use the search function. What if you want to brainstorm titles or headlines for content? If you make content for social media, you need to try this AI teleprompter. Look, it's called CapCap, and if I click on teleprompter, then I can copy and paste my script in here or go to the AI script writer. I'll make a short description on three weight loss mistakes beginners are doing that includes a hook, keywords, we can do intermittent fasting, platform, TikTok, and length, we can keep at 60 seconds and generate. Now you can see that it's writing the entire script for us. And then we can just jump to the camera I'll click on the record button. And as you can see, I have the script right in front of me and I can just read from it without coming up with all these things in my head. So I'll just click record. Hey everyone, are you trying to lose weight but not seeing results? You might be falling for these common mistakes. First up, intermittent fasting. It's all the rage, right? But timing is key. If you're fasting, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, it actually scrolls when you speak which is absolutely amazing. If you're happy, just click this icon and your content is filmed just like that. And if you see in the top right, you can click on the AI enhancer if you don't have the highest quality and you can just upgrade by clicking these HD button. As you can see, it's more clear with more detailed, specifically if you have a bad camera. Click on save and you just made a video. So check out CapCap by clicking the link in the description down below. Thanks to CapCap for sponsoring this section of the video. What if you want to brainstorm titles or headlines for content? Let's make a new conversation in the top and ask it. I'm making a video called Meta AI Tutorial. Could you give me some title ideas? As you can see, it came up with 10 ideas. So let's check them out. Getting started with Meta AI, a beginner's guide, unlocking the power of Meta AI tips and tricks, Meta AI essentials, mastering the basics, so on and so forth. I really like how you can take pieces of these titles to create your own master title. Like maybe I'll use this piece and a little bit of this piece to create my headline. Now let's go deeper into brainstorming the format of the video. This is the prompt that I'm going to use. Could you give me a framework? And I like to add search first online and find the features of Meta AI then give me the answers. So let's check what happens then. As you can see, it gave an introduction, setting up meta AI, like how to get access, core features like text generation that we're doing now, conversational AI, 
image generation, and then even advanced features like summarization, extractions, language translation, code generation, then the tips and tricks for best practices, the conclusion, and maybe add additional resources. So this is a really good tool to brainstorm a framework of a script or log article. I just recommend taking the pieces that you love the most and writing it out in your own words. I bet you've already tried to summarize with other AI tools and translate. You already know how that works, but let's test out the code generation real quick. I'll click on a new conversation, write me a snake game in Python. And here you can see that it's writing the code for us. One of the benefits that I did found with MetaAI is that it's actually really quick. But does it actually work? I'll create a new file, paste it in here. I'll write Python 3 snakemeta.py, click on enter. And there you have it. We actually made it in terminal, which is very fascinating. But it's actually working. What? This is a new different type of snake game that I haven't tested with other AI tools. Let's see if it actually works if I bite my own tail and it stops. So yes, we even got a score of four. So it passed a simple coding test. But what really fascinated me the most was how to use the imagine feature of Meta AI. As you can see, the examples are draw a poodle playing the violin, illustrate a desert sphinx, or visualize a time traveler. Now let me show you how crazy this is. If I start typing, make an image of a banana that has arm and leg and is doing a little, do you see that is generating right in front of us? And I can keep going, put a top hat on him and uh, put him on a kitchen. Oh, now it's struggling a little bit. <laughs> Counter. <laughs> There you go. I'm going to click on enter. So you could see how crazy fast it is at generating, which makes it a completely different experience of generating images. Now I have to say with honesty that the images aren't as good as some of the other models from Dolly 3 to mid journey, but the ability to create these easily within meta AI and I believe this will go into Facebook and Instagram. It's just a cool experience on its own. Now you can see that some of them are a little bit warped and turning into a robot. So that's what I mean with the quality. Let's go back to imagine again. If you start your prompt with the word imagine, it will generate in real time. So as you can see, imagine a Norwegian woman sitting in a comfy chair, Ikea. <laughs> Let's keep going. Her hair is blonde. She's wearing glasses and holding an iPad. There we go. The iPad turned into a book and I don't like that she's in the warehouse. So let's say model room, living room, Ikea living room. And there you have it. You just imagined at the speed of writing. And as you can see, this is a completely new way of generating the images where you're not gonna just do a prompt and then all of a sudden it's not what you want. You can just continue prompting until you get something you actually want. But what happens if you actually click on the publish button or the post button is that you get three more variations similar to the one that you generated. Here is version number one, number two, and number three. Now, I think that they're using less processing power to generate the other three images, but in all honesty, it's not as good as the best generation tools like Dolly 3 or Midjourney as you may be able to see. However, one of the new fancy features that I've never seen in any other AI tool is just the ability to just click on animate. So we can just click on this button and now it will actually animate all the four images into sort of a tiny GIF. Here is how it looks like. And you just see some camera movement. You see her looking a little bit different, blinking a little bit. On this generation, you can see that the camera is actually moving to the side and the room is actually staying pretty consistent, which is very good. This iteration here as well, it seems like it's holding the consistency of the chair and the room, which is very great. Some of the other AI video generators have problems with this. And the same goes for this image here as well. 
but again, the quality is just not good enough. So I can see people using this for maybe quick storyboarding. And I think its greatest feature is just how quick it is. And obviously that you can use it for free. So let me quickly show you some other prompt. I'll go back to the imagine to get a clean slate. Imagine an Egyptian king with a gold crown in the middle of a crowded city overlooking pyramid. Wow, I really like how fast it is. In his hand, holding a scepter. That's really good. I actually really like this image. And it seems like the quality is a little bit better. Here is the first result. As you can see, this is actually very high quality. We still get some of this blurriness or whatever you call it on the cheeks. Here is the next generation where his scepter looks like it took a loss. And the last generation where the actual outfit looks absolutely ridiculous. But what if we animate these ones? You can now see that this guy is walking. This guy is also walking forward and this guy as well. But yeah, we have the same issues as before where the quality is just not good enough. But there is this button here with make a video of all the images that appeared as I typed. So you saw some of the images and maybe you wanted to keep them, but they kind of got hidden because you kept typing. Well, this is a way that you can kind of step back in time and find those images again. Let's see what it generates. Here you can see that it's actually generating exactly as we are typing. And this is almost a little cool party trick on its own going through all the different variations. And I could see people actually using this for content creation and Instagram and stuff like that as it's actually really cool. Ending up with the last image and then playing again. So you've seen how capable it is at writing actual text and searching online with the Bing. You've seen how we wrote a little snake game in Python and how impressive this new image model is that is generating in real time. I'm very glad we have new competitors to ChatGPT because competition means better software for the consumers or us. So if you like the video and AI tools, subscribe to the channel. Also, check out our amazing sponsors in the description down below. YouTube recommends you watch this one video on the screen right now. So click that one to watch more.